How's it going? I'm Lox. And today I want to show you the projects I've been working on this month. Some that are just collecting dust and some that are currently in development. Also, I've been slacking on the tutorials for the last couple of months. And to be completely honest, I just don't have the desire to make them at this current time. Things are changing in my life and I just don't have the space, the equipment, or the time to work on my current style of video. Since I love to make videos, I'll be making project updates and devlogs for my current projects with concept information instead of making step-by-step -step tutorials. So first up on this month's projects, I started working on a game that I don't have a name for yet. It's currently being developed in Armory 3D, but I may switch the engine over to Unity or Godot. But basically, it's an adventure game. The player goes around searching for stuff and can interact with objects in the map. Then the player can complete the quest to advance the story. I spent a good two weeks working on this project, and I really like the idea. But currently, I'm working on learning C Sharp for game development. I'm mostly a 3D dev, but I have been working on some 2D game concepts. And for me, I find it easier to learn a new language in 2D versus 3D. That hasn't stopped me from trying my hand at 3D though. I started to move my 3D Crystallis Remake project over to Unity to help with learning, since I already had the assets done. I then spent a ton of time fixing small issues with my models. But after I got it working, I started to make some serious progress, getting my scene transitions working for entering caves and houses. <laughs> I got my animations working for the most part. For some reason my animations would break when importing them into Unity. Not sure if it was my rigs or what. This isn't a huge deal, just something to iron out later. As much as I like working with the Blender game engine, I think I'm going to start moving over to C Sharp for game development, mostly to advance my toolkit, but it's also looking to be more practical for me. And while I'm not finished with Blender game engine development completely, I'm trying something new and the channel will reflect this. Anyways, that's it for now. If you want to see more of my future projects, think about subscribing, and I'll see you there. But if you want to see more, try checking out this video. That's it. <laughs> Goodbye!